Hello, no Tressy. Yeah, this game doesn't have motorcycles, but it has a boat. Okay, everything looks good. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Howler Punk. Okay, let's set it to this. Alright. Okay. Close that. So are we about to talk? No, I don't think we're going to get sidetracked today. No, not today. Actually, uh, Phil and Max came in here and we were having interesting intellectual conversation about uh, nuclear warfare and Trump and all this bullshit and stuff while I was playing the game. It was pretty funny. Right? Yeah. Oh, it was just... Like yeah, that's just what Phil does. Can't hate him for it. Oh, yeah. In fact, that's why we love him. I've actually never been around here. I wonder if there's a secret. No, there's nothing here. It's just... Do you ever play any of the older all world games? Yeah, I have. It's the reason why I came across this one. I wouldn't have uh, known about Stranger's Wrath if I didn't play the originals. Ah, it's funny. When I was, like, younger, I, I did play Oddworld, but I didn't know it was Oddworld at the time. I just thought it was some weird game about an alien rescuing other aliens. I mean, that's basically what it is, honestly. I know, it just looked weird, and I had it was fun, and I had no idea what it was called. Yep, it's called Oddworld. Did you play uh, Odyssey or Exodus or both? I have no idea. It was a it was it an old just computer one screen to screen? Yeah, yeah old computer. It, it could have been either one because both of them are pretty similar. Just one takes place uh, like at the beginning of the journey, the other's like the end. But yeah, I love Old World and Stranger's Wrath came out. I wasn't too sure about it. And then when I actually ended up getting, my uncle bought the game, and then I played it, and I was just like, hey, this is actually pretty good. Because it's got the odd world elements in it, it's got the, uh, basically it's just like, it's got the world and stuff like that of odd world and stuff, and all the creativeness, I guess. Weird well, I creatures. Assume, well, I'd assume with a name, name game called Odd World, I assume they keep their world odd. Yeah. Nah, just gonna Do go you still mind stuff. control people? No, not this character. This character is not a Mudokin. Oh. It's a different character. How do I enter this again? Oh, control. I think it's control. What the hell? Yeah, there it is. But yeah, no, Tressy, we're not going to get sidetracked because uh, Phil's not around right now. But if he does come in, you never know. Let me uh, see something else really quick. Okay. Alright, so we're just gonna get started. So last time we left off, we are heading towards Last Legs, which is a big city that, uh... I forgot what these creatures that we're helping are called, but... That's basically, like, their capital. And it's getting attacked. So we gotta go save them. So are you, like, some kind of bounty hunter right now, or...? 
I was a bounty hunter, and then I'm at the point in the story where, like, things changed and I have to be the guardian, basically. <laughs> I went from being a bounty hunter to basically, like, an ancient guardian. That's basically what it is. Alrighty. And I'm combating, like, a private militia that's hired by this, basically, the primary antagonist, which is Secto. Say what? Is the pay better? Uh, no, because I'm not a fucking a bounty hunter anymore. Well, shit, son. Looks like you got screwed. Yeah, this game's sound effects are really loud. I gotta turn it down just a little bit more. Let's try six. That should be good. That's better. They didn't really balance the uh, sound effects very well. It just gets really loud and spikes sometimes. So it can be very difficult to hear. Maybe it's a part of the world, G. It is odd. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Jesus. I gotta kick sink this barge. Oh, there we go. Where's the uh, last explosive on that? I don't remember. There it is. Okay. We don't need any ammo, we're good on that. I should have brought the boat up with me more. Forgot that it can actually help me a lot, because it's got a machine gun on the front of it. I'm going up. I'm going up the river. Is it the bayou? No, it's not the bayou. God Why damn it. it the bayou? Because we're in a fucking river. I heard there's an old cat here. I'm here to go put to bed. Okay, great. There could be rivers in the bayou. Yeah. But it's not a bayou. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm positive this is not a bayou. It's definitely a big river. Well, I definitely know that there's uh, no river or bayou nearby, I should say. Yeah, that's... Alright, now Alrighty. I can... Take your word. <laughs> Fucking enemies. What'd they do? They're assholes. Ashers? They just say a lot of weird things. Like what kind of weird things? Come here and eat my crusty underwear. Mm. Stuff like that. I'm supposed to simulate well, like the yeah, uh, private militia thing. Cheat, yeah. have you ever played P4G? What is P4G? I've never played that. Persona 4 Gold? Is that what it is? That could be it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Random shot in the dark with that one. I doubt there's pers I doubt there's something. I mean, I could understand the Persona 4, but I don't know if there's a G anywhere in there. Do those Japanese te teenagers go to a bayou? Oh, Persona 4 Golden. Huh, yeah, you're right. How do you know? I've never played anything in the Persona series. So, no, I haven't. I heard Persona's really good, but, uh... Never played it. But I could never get into it. What is it, like a Japanese RPG? Yeah, it's an RPG. It's also a fighting game. Blah, 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 blah. It's 
It's just that stuff happens. Just stuff happens, Chief. Okay. Hello, Donaldo. Golden has funky music. Oh boy. That is another thing. Maybe I'll play that version if I ever play it. It's gone. Is it is oh. it one is it one of those games where I would have to play like the original personas or is it all like separate? I think they're all separate. So it doesn't even fucking matter. Okay, yeah. so there's basically like a fucking army and a giant dropships attacking the city. Shoot him down, G. Shoot him down. I can't shoot him down. Whoever's Why aiming that catapult needs to fucking do a better job. Storming the Let beach of Normandy. Then fire the catapult! Do it yourself! I could use some of these. There we go. Got any sting bees around here? Nice. Sting what? <laughs> sting bees. That's what the ammo is called that I'm using. So, bee stingers? Yeah, they're basically, I shoot bees. All my ammo is bugs. Yeah. Well, that is yeah, it is. I need to fucking bring the boat closer so I can actually, like... I wonder how many they must feel just, like, being shot out of a gun into their impending boot. God damn. Uh... <laughs> chat, let me know if I need to turn down the sound more, because I feel like I do. Jesus Christ. Welcome home, or Frank. Welcome home to the stream. I'm storming the beach at Normandy. Normandy. We're in Germany now. He's in the bayou. I'm no longer playing Stranger's Wrath. I'm currently playing uh, Medal of Honor. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Let me... I'm just going to go by my own instinct. The sound is good. Are you, are you guys sure? I'm going to turn it down one more notch. Just one more little notch. It's louder than Omni, but lower than you. So I can just turn Omni up. I'll just do that. Yeah. Oh, you know you what? Can lower me. That should be good. Yeah. All right. So let's bring this. All right. Good to go. Oh God. Kill it with fire. Quick. Do you have a bug that just blows up into fire? Actually, I do. Use it, it! It explodes. Use it! Use the explode. Use the exploding jihad bug. Well, I'm gonna position this boat so that way it can shoot them and give me some covering fire. Omni is Omni. He's joined for Get Amp stream sometimes. Oh god. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's D Day. Oh god, I'm gonna get killed. No! 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 Ugh. Cheat, I believe in you. You just gotta believe harder. I think I could pause the game while this. I could just say, fuck this, I don't wanna watch this. That's the speedrun strat. If you die, you just fucking reload the game. Instead of watching the <laughs> cinematic. Uh, I love weird little things like that. This game's totally speedrunnable. It's got save states and stuff. So you can just save a little quick save and stuff. So you can just go back to your quick save when you fuck up and everything. I don't understand how you could play a game like Ed Ampton. I don't either. But that's why I don't play it. But I can. Well, just look at it as a party game, honestly. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go. We're good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, boat, fuck him up. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah, there's a lot a of enemies. Day. Yeah, it is. There's a lot the of fucking day. enemies here. I forgot how many enemies they throw at you when you storm the beach, literally. <laughs> You know what you should do? Hire stormtroopers. I wish I could hire stormtroopers. Okay, that's everyone on the beach. Are you sure? 
What about the algae, Chief? Save the algae. Nope. We're good on that. We don't have to save no algae. There's four algae. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it really starts to pick up at this point in the story. Like, I mean, if it didn't already, like, it even just goes even further beyond. Oh, fuck, sniper. <laughs> Got Get him. It. Uh, he's dead. I got him. Oh, Hooray. shield guy. Fuck you. Chief fucking did it. What am I getting shot by? Oh my god. You should probably kill that, Chief. Yeah, right now, there's going to be a lots of waves of enemies. That's the reason why I wanted to save this part for uh, this fucking stream. Well, if you ever need any help, Chief, just remember Zap Brannigan's words. He'll send in wave after wave of men just to die. That's what these guys are doing. Oh, there's two snipers. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Fucking hell. Okay, hold on. What's the, uh... I guess I don't know what that button is. Alright, uh, let's just do this then. This should be strong enough to kill them. Are you gonna kill them with kindness? Actually, there's a fucking... What, what button is it, I wonder? Hold on. I'm trying to find... Let me see. Options. Controls. Does it tell me what layout? There is a button that I can press. Let's see. Zoom. That's what it is. That's the word I'm, what I'm looking for. Because I have this ammo that I didn't buy like before this part happened. Basically, I can have like sniper darts. There we go. Get rid of the snipers that way. There we go. Perfect. Send some fuzzies after them. Yeah. Alright, get some more ammo. Because I'm going to need plenty of it. Have some bolomites here. You know, a good combination would be is bolomite with the uh, riot slug. It's just a slug, isn't it? Riot slug is uh, it's basically like this thing, and it's like a shotgun. Yeah, but it's actually a slug, though, right? Uh, it's kind of like a rock slug, I guess. But I don't <laughs> know if that exists actually. It's just like this rock-looking thing. And call it a slug. <laughs> it's called a thud okay. slug. The riot slug's the upgrade. Okay. <laughs> but it's a rock, though. Basically. Not a slug. No. Yep, I did it. Oh boy, celebrate with champagne and wine! Alright. It's basically the shotgun build right here. Spider web, wrap them up, and then just shoot them with the riot slug. other weird combinations can you do with your bug weapons? I can do a lot. It's basically whatever I feel like needing. You got one where it just swarms them with leeches? That's yes, actually. It's called the Rabid Fuzzle. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm serious. 
they 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 they're like these little fuzzy things, and they have teeth, and they bite them. <laughs> but they're not leeches, though, are they? They're not leeches, but they're much worse because they bite you and fucking shred you apart. I don't know. I think being covered in leeches would be pretty bad. I mean, these things literally devour you. So it's. it's... That's my oh, what? Hello, hello Austin. Hello. Uh, I'm storming the beach in Normandy right now, Austin. Need total concentration. <laughs> How the hell did you get to Normandy? I thought you were in the bayou. I'm not in the fucking bayou. The Normandy's in space. That's impressive. That is very impressive. Gee, how did you get from the bayou into space? When does Stranger get a stand? I don't know. Maybe he already has it. You guys can tell me what it is. Why do these things not... Fucking stupid dogs. Stupid dogs, you make me look bad. They're, they are, actually. He, he doesn't have that accent. <laughs> Stupid dog! You make, you're making me look bad. Or you made me look bad. That's what he says. Yeah. I thought you guys were trying to go over some weird Italian accent. I was like, fuck? No, that's just my normal accent, but let's continue to make fun of it. Yes, let's. Why you make used to sound like you? Oh, Jesus. Hold on, I gotta get out of here. There's way too many fucking enemies. I'm gonna have to kill them all. Let's, uh, bring some heavy firepower with this and this. Actually, let's do that. Yeah, that'll work. That should kill them. I gotta kill that guy. Make sure he's down. Kill these fucking dogs. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, whatever, at least he's dead. <laughs> oh, so stressful. I'm wearing <laughs> some I'm wearing some armor that the natives gave me. I was calling them the natives, that's exactly what they are actually. The armor, it does nothing. Okay. At least they give you plenty of cover for this part. Hello, Final Sovereign. actually really close to being able to do that, but it's probably still going to take a bit of a while. Okay. Like, I just got the first Master Tome for Carpenter. The uh, bow's in the uh, second Master Tome. The only thing I'm missing from that is I need, like, feel... It's like a Demi-Materia field craft, I think. Three. Uh. And that shit's expensive. Okay. Uh, at this guy. Nice. We're getting them. We're getting them, and Frank, we got him. Get them harder. Break their legs. I'm breaking their legs. Trust me. Oh. All right. You better. They can't run away from you if you break their legs. Ah, uh, great. Now we got to fight a war machine. From Marvel Comics? No, not that war machine. 
This war machine's much worse. Oh, I gotta get out of here. This motherfucker's gonna tase me. I don't know. I'm pretty sure a war machine in the Marvel Universe is pretty dangerous. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty... He's got missiles mounted on his shoulder, for God's sake. There we go. Fuck you, bitch. Butt slugs do a pretty good job on them. <laughs> All right. Get some more thud slugs. These are going to be my best friend. Uh. Any more fuzzles? Got a couple more here. But yeah, Orlando, I use bug ammo. and I got to collect them from their nest and stuff. And It's pretty neat, actually. It's a really fun concept. Who created this gun? Whoever created this gun must have really hated bugs. You know, I don't know. I mean, it's Oddworld. He probably found somebody that made it for him. Maybe he made it himself. Who knows? He must really hate bugs. I mean, it's just basically a, a double fucking barrel, like, uh... <laughs> I guess, a double chambered, uh, crossbow. Oh, <laughs> Did you notice? No, I didn't notice anything. There was just a fucking war on the beach. There's nothing wrong. You don't need to stop it. Sign your contract. <laughs> oh, badass armor? Now I have the best armor in the game. Yeah, Stranger has four legs. Ghost Kirby, were you not here for the uh, big reveal? Basically, uh, Stranger is the Steve thing. It's called the Steve. And uh, that's the reason why he needed 20 grand, because he wanted to move, cut off his back legs and just basically look more normal. <laughs> Or some shit like that. That's a that's a bit extreme, isn't it? Yeah, it was a high chance he like... he probably would not have lived, but it's okay because we got found out and now we're Steve. So you couldn't just like tape them down or something. Well, what he did was he wore pants that like held them together, but he wanted to just be more comfortable. I guess is the best way to put it. Wow. So he cut off his legs. Okay, I love this upgrade. But yeah, he wanted to cut off his legs. I still have my legs. I never, I never got the operation. <laughs> Fucking. How about this? What would you do with said spare legs that you just cut off? Would you uh, be able to reattach them? I don't know. Just saying, because like you have, you now have a set, a pair of. Spare legs, so if you lose the ones you're using now, just pop on the other ones. Graham. Basically what I am, Ghost Kirby, is... I'm equivalent to this game's deer. Or like a moose. <laughs> and, uh, Steve are basically extinct. I'm the last one alive. And, uh, Steve's were... Hunted a lot for their heads. Because they, were, they made good trophies, basically. I'm a trophy animal. That's basically what I am. Wow, brutal. Yep. That's why I needed an operation that was probably going to kill me, so it's a good thing I didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that upgrade. So, they changed, they upgrade the skunk thing. And instead of making them puke now, what it does is that it actually brings them all together, and then you can combo them with the, an explosive. It's amazing. It's pretty brutal. I'd assume it would be. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, Zapfly. Zapfly unfortunately never gets an upgrade, but Zapfly would be OP if it did because it's unlimited ammo. So Steve is a hunted, but he. It, it's Steve. S T E E F. <laughs> His name is Steve. 
the no, last it's... Steve in the universe. You know what? We'll just call him Steve now. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, his name's Steve, and uh, he's the last Steve in the universe. I'm gonna fucking die, basically. Every other Steve is gone and dead for all eternity. I was about to shoot them because I thought they were enemies. Oh shit. What happened? Fucking enemies. Oh no. Oh, I got flanked. I forgot about this part. I literally, you literally get flanked at this part. Jesus Christ. God damn it. Oh, now I have to do this part again? Well, it's not like this part's hard. You guys get to see explosions again. Why not? Explosion! It's so sparkly in the glow! Yep, rest in peace, Steve. Goodbye, Steve. So many gibbs. Gibblies? Gibbles? Yeah, there's gibbets in this game when you blow stuff up. Hold on. I loved you, Steve. Yeah, we don't get money anymore because money doesn't matter anymore. And technically, the whole in the beginning, Moolah did not matter from the very beginning because I was never gonna really have any use for it past this point. I don't know. I feel like at the middle of like the story arc, they were just kind of like, you know, this is kind of getting boring. Let's just change it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great thing about Oddworld. They have pretty good, well-written stories. I mean, of course, there's a couple plot holes in this. You know, nothing's without its plot holes, but. It's not bad. Let's uh, do this. Yeah. Sorry, native. You're not sorry at all. Oh, it's not that I got flanked. I just ran past the enemies. Never mind. I'm stupid. Alright. Hello, Kenny. It's Kenny. Our world the plot does not fucking matter. Ishgard's an odd place. <laughs> I see what you did there. Wait, what? Ishgard's an odd place. Because uh, we're in a snowy area. And it's like a big city. Yeah. Yep. You think everything there would be made of ice or igloos, but they're not. Well, the reason why it's snowing here is because the dam river, or the uh, the dam used to be uh, not be there, and the river used to be a lot higher, so it got colder because I guess the water temperature is lower and stuff because the water is lower. I don't know how it fucking works, but it didn't always used to snow here. I'm pretty sure that's a fact. But the gore looks like pizza. Yeah, eat them up, kids. Pizza! Damn it. I knew I should have had that pizza today. <laughs> 
So instead of traveling on foot, we're traveling by boat, of course. Couldn't uh, live without the travel sequences in this game. I feel like Wind Waker all over again. They got banjo music playing. There's no banjo music. It's more it's serious. Pretty it's pretty serious atmospheric music. Like, uh, you know, it's right now it's pretty calm. Going through a cavern. Well, why don't you have a banjo playing? Because I'm rowing the boat. By the way, look at this fucking boat. So I can just bust out the MP3. The bot ain't here. Oh, shit. You know what? They fucking... I need to fucking remember how to turn it on. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me message Austin. What? He's oh, here. Oh, oh, he's here still. <laughs> Say he's here. Yeah, the bot's not on. It turned off because it doesn't like us, I guess. Oh, no! Bot! I can't get back in the boat. Okay, there we go. Never mind. I guess it installed Windows updates. <laughs> fucking, yeah, the bot... Uh, I forgot Austin was still here, my bad. Of course not. It's because he was watching the stream and noticed I was doing a lousy job at commentating, so he's like, I gotta get in here and save the day. I was watching Ken Bone. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Bone, guest star on Go To Bed Cast? Oh man, could you imagine? <laughs> oh, No, nothing highlight worthy. Nothing highlight worthy is probably gonna happen. Um, nothing like super funny. Like this game doesn't really glitch at this part. This game doesn't really glitch, honestly. I don't remember if we had any glitch highlights. I'm pretty sure we didn't. Oh, there was the fucking boar thing though. Yeah, I remember that. The fucking slog that had like polygons messed up for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was like the only thing. I don't think anything else like that happens. All right, the bots here. Great, the bots here, guys. That's because I wasn't saying anything, Kenny. I fucking got you. Fucking fooled. Each to Kenny. <laughs> big ass locks for big ass doors. So now we are officially at the dam. Oh, damn. Uh, None of you guys ever did beast tribes, did you? Not really, no. God damn it, Chi. I thought you at least wanted the oh, boss. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta go do my Excel, and then I'll be done with it. Oh, really? Well, the second reputation thing, I'll be at Oh, okay. I'll say, they have, like, seven. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Right. But, like, they added, they added, with that, that last patch, it takes, like, two days to get to max per thing. Yeah. Just super they give fast. You so many quests. Yeah, it's super fast. That's how I like it. Uh, let's see. I can make Look my... on the bright side. If you finish Ixali, you'll get a um. Excel. You. Yeah, you can get a minion and buy a mount. Yeah. It sucks, but it's a mount. And then I can do Moogle after eventually. Yeah, I'm doing Moogle right now. Actually, no, I'm doing like four beast tribes. Yeah, I haven't really been doing them. I probably should so I can get my crafting up faster. Yeah, you could do crafting. There, actually, there's also another thing. Um, with each of the beast tribes, when you if you get higher reputation, what happens is that um, when you talk to their vendors, they actually have um, materials that you can buy that you can't buy anywhere else. Well, trash. If you ever play again, you're welcome on our server. Oh wait, what? Fred no, Trashy. He used to play. He used to play, oh. yeah. Oh, that's cool. If you ever want us to come to addiction again. Yeah. You fuck over your whole life. If right. you like crafting, we could totally use more crafters. That too. Yeah. Crafting's fun. It just takes a little bit of time. Although, it's not as much time as, like, a combat class for sure. Oh, the, hell no. These tribes make it much easier. Once you get once you get to the beast tribes, you could need to start doing those. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the idea, the idea with leveling or crafting classes to make sure to get the uh, turn in for the grand company, do beast tribes, and then just go off levy quests. Oh, I haven't been doing grand company either. Shit. I say, 
Nah, you really want to do Grand Company because if there's a um, if there's a star next to what they need to be turned in, that basically means you get double the XP more than usual. And if you turn in a high quality, you get double that double XP. Uh oh, does Kenny know math? That's I like. <laughs> I think like it a does. free level, basically. The callouts on Kenny's ability to multiply and divide. Oh man. Ah, uh, fucking sylphs. They got me carrying fucking pumpkins through the silk lens. That joke is average. God damn it, please. That's a knee slapper right there. <laughs> knee slapper. Eight out of ten. Jesus Christ, I forgot about these motherfuckers that shoot. I'm two fucking yes. turrets, dude. In Just fact, it was so itself. good that I'm going to make Blazing a mod for 30 seconds. Great. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so I gotta deactivate these locks. Funny thing uh, is, I can jump straight across to the other side and I'm gonna do it. For anyone that's following Pokemon, a lowland grimer was a beautiful field. Yeah, I saw that. It has teeth. That's terrifying. <laughs> Not really, it's just like two buck teeth. Yeah, I pre-ordered uh, Blue Moon. Oh, nice. I almost, I almost said Blue Moon. <laughs> yeah. Like Mega Man. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like Pokemon versions Blue Moon and Red Sun. God, I love those Mega Man games. Oh, the Battle Network ones? Yeah. Yeah, they're old as shit. But they were fun. Yeah, Network Transmission was such a great game. <laughs> I actually beat that. It took forever. It was like, hard as fuck. That game was, was so say, It took long. fucking forever. But damn, did I beat it. Fucking, fucking Fireman, the first boss. Oh, <laughs> I can't make shit. you an admin, sorry. Uh, uh, mod, Blazing, sorry. You know, uh, I remember like Write when... You an IOU. <laughs> I remember when X-Play, like back before they became biased, like, uh, they did, <laughs> they did, like, a little segment on Make Network Transmission and how Fireman, like, made everybody fucking rage. Yeah. It was the first boss, and it was so hard! And then, like, it just shows him getting destroyed, like, right? Because, you know, Fireman just destroys everybody the first time. And then you just yeah. see Morgan Webb, and she's just like, oh, all you gotta do is just slide under, dumbasses. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking, seriously? But it was really I funny, because, like, Adam S <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was, his, what was his name again? Adam, whatever his name. Adam yeah, Sessler. Was, was yeah, Adam yeah Sessler. Sessler. Yeah, he was like raging and stuff. He was like, this fucking shit is so hard. <laughs> so good. It it was hard, but it had such a simple way of dodging and shit. Yeah, no, no one, no one, it. no one fucking thought of fucking sliding, dude. Like a fucking a normal mechanic that's been in a lot of Mega Man games. Yeah. Then, surprise, surprise, final boss was zero. Didn't see that coming. Yeah. yeah. Really didn't see that coming. It was even funnier that he was a virus. I'm like, ah, X, X series throwback. <laughs> yeah. I want to beat X6. I should fucking, like, stream that and then watch my misery just just oh, build yeah. up, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's because we, we speed. I told you how to speed run X5 and I showed you how easy it was. And then I told you X6 and it's hard as shit. <laughs> Fucking X6 is so fucking hard. Especially if you unlock if you unlock um who was it? I think it was Mega Man or Zero early on. No, Mega Man, yeah, if you unlock Mega Man early on. No, it was Zero, wasn't it? No, you start with Zero. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right, yeah. yeah. Wait. X6, X6. No, no, that's right. Yeah, you do start with Mega Man. He has, um... He wears his X5 upgrade armor. That's right. And, and you have Zero's sword. And then you unlock Zero... If you unlock Zero super early, the game for some reason, like, spikes in difficulty or some shit like that. It's because it's Zero's fucking virus. But you get that yeah. cool Zero suit that, for some reason, does extra damage. I don't know. Like, it was really cool. It was. 
Oh yeah, that is what R9 came on. I remember they used that for uh, AGDQ uh, when there was a woman on screen. They put it. They put the chat in R9K mode, and yeah. what R9K mode is, at least in the AGDQ instance, is you could only type in emotes. Yeah. Any any message that wasn't an emote, it just doesn't go through. Hmm. Weird. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh wait, now I remember. It was X7 where you actually had to unlock unlock X. Start off with Axel and Zero. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Fuck. X7 was so bad. But then they went to X8 and kind of brought it back. It was pretty good. I liked X8. Not I a lot, it. but I liked it. I did too. I, I still had it too, and I have all the characters and all the armors. That and all the upgrades. That's huh? emote only. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. All the fucking upgrades. Oh! Whoa! Sniper's right there. Oh, oh no. This part of X... Of X8, fucking six playable characters. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> you can play as the navigators. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> R9K is spam prevention. Okay. Spam prevention when a woman's on screen. <laughs> that too, yeah. They should have done no, that for it was, fucking... It was emote only, but it's... Twitch chat's misogynistic, what can you say? Yeah, they should have done that for like... <laughs> Twitch chat will be Twitch chat, am I right, uh, Twitch? Mm -hmm. Am I right, Twitch chat? Yep. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's right. FanFest is this weekend, so that means, um, <laughs> reveal of next expansion. Oh boy. That's not gonna come out for, like, months, but it's okay. Not even months, man, like an entire year. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. I need to get my scripture shit anyway. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, about a year because they still gotta do um, 3.5. And then about true. like, I think like six months after 3.5, six to eight, then they release expansion. What's with this week? It's uh, Fan Fest for uh, Final Fantasy. Yep. I mean, new expansion, and with new expansion comes new playable jobs. And also a party in Vegas. And a party in Vegas with a giant fat chocobo you can take a picture on. Is it coin operated? You wish. <laughs> Although that'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they need to make that amount now. Just a coin operated fat chocobo. <laughs> uh, where would the coin slot be? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> like, put, it, maybe, put it underneath maybe, his like, chin. <laughs> underneath the chin? Nah. Like, like I could imagine the coin slot just being on the side, and the fat, and the fat chocobo is like on a pedestal, and the pedestal has jetpacks or jet thrusters to help it fly. All right, get your asses in there. Oh yeah, and it's rumored next expansion is going to take place in Alamigo, not Little Alamigo. That's an entirely different area. Actual. No, Alamigo, yeah, the old area that got sieged by Garlmeld. Yep. The was Samurai a tank? No. There's a, um, there's debate on whether it's going to be a tank or a DPS in the next expansion. I mean, I want a sword DPS, but it would make sense as a tank, I guess. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> they need a sword DPS. Dark Knight doesn't cut it, man. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they're going to go, um... Give it Cleric's dance. I'm pretty sure they're gonna go uh, DPS with it because the theory is, is that how most people are seeing it is that they'll have samurai DPS, blue mage tank, and red mage healer, which would uh, be really weird. I'd accept it. Damn it! I would. I hope samurai is the healer. <laughs> I would. I would laugh. I really would. That'd be hilarious. Nah. But there's also the other classes I told you about that have a shot, like Dancer and Beastmaster. Mm -hmm. I would actually laugh my ass off if they brought Dancer back from 11. Okay. Ugh, so now the game's getting harder. Oh, yeah, you guys thought storming the beach was tough. It was gonna get even harder. Uh, Samurai's 
pretty much guaranteed, considering it was confirmed Samurai was supposed to be in Heaven's Ward, and they're like, you know what, let's just throw in Dark Knight instead. Ugh, I really wish they could take, like, Dark Knight or something and make it, like, a beginner class, but they can't. Yeah. Nah. This is kind of like the World of Warcraft model, where it's, like, hero classes. You can only unlock when you've reached a certain level and shit. A certain area, really. Yeah. Get rid of these snipers. I have a feeling, that's ki I have a feeling though, that's kind of what's going to happen with all of the job classes, since that's kind of what happened in Eleven. Like, everyone had the starter classes, but then as more expansions came out, it's like, oh yeah, here are the new classes, make sure you've done all this shit first. Right. Basically, it's more rewarding for the people that already played the game. Yeah, it would make tank more interesting, but at the same time, there's still no sword DPS. Yeah. You gotta work for it. It's, it's, <laughs> they gotta make a choice. Because if they, if they put Samurai in, that would be fucking really popular. That would oh, it's really on. Make oh, you have tanks. no idea. You have no idea how popular Samurai is. <laughs> that might just be worth it enough to put in as tank. To get people to actually play as tank. You know what? Yeah, you're probably right. Which is always the reason I hate that they put the swords on tank, is for that reason. Is that you want the sword? Well, you gotta play tank. Yep. That's how they got me the first time. <laughs> yeah. This is why I'm a magic user. Haha! <laughs> magic users are always DPS, unless they're healers. I don't know. I'm more inclined to believe the, uh, the Beastmaster pet tank class. I think that, that'd be pretty cool. That would be cool, yeah. 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 It's even funnier because, like, thinking, what would their weapon be? Either a single-handed axe with a buckler or a whip. See, you know what my question is? Like, the next expansion, is that... Are these classes that they're going to add at level 30, or...? No. Heck, like, when uh, Heaven's War came out, no, I, nobody knew what, what level they were going to start as yeah. until we started playing the game. Huh. Hmm. So, yeah, we're we're not gonna know. I'm gonna laugh. It's gonna be level 50 right off the bat. Oh, <laughs> shit! It would make it would make sense at 60, especially if they raise the level cap. Oh, they will. They they will. So, it would make sense to be at 60. Yeah. No, because that's the fun part. It's like, because if it's a new class that you really want to play, what do you do first? Max out something you already got to complete the story, or just blow everything off and get the new class? That might lit. even... I, I think they're gonna make Samurai tank. Yeah. But like... I don't know, if it was me, if it's a blue mage, I'm blowing everything until that blue mage is max. Hmm. Yeah, this is basically like a fucking alien I'm fighting right now. This is where it starts to get stupid. Like, I will power level the shit out of that thing. Oh, yeah. And you're gonna hear fucking Steve say, Gotta shake free! Shake out of this! <laughs> Go on, Steve! You can do it! <laughs> Got it. <laughs> but what a blue mage is shit! I would still play it. <laughs> but what a blue mage was shit! No, Trashy, you already have that. What are you talking about? There, you just click on the names on the left side in the party. God damn it. I feel like there's also probably like an alt, like, uh, you can hit buttons too, but I don't know what they are. I like that they added an aggro meter in this last patch. It was nice. Or the last time Tresh played, you couldn't do that. I don't know why that wouldn't be there. Wait, what? To click on people on the left and have it highlight them so you could heal them. Nah, you could do that. That's always been there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, fuck those enemies. Actually, oh, yeah, I, I thought I thought it was dumb, but it was you know, what they Actually, do is... what's pretty new that was actually released a couple patches ago, and you guys probably didn't even notice, but like 
like basically before you guys joined, you know the uh, you know certain abilities that have like stack here and then like look away look away uh, icons and everything. Yeah. 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 Those used to not be there. We kind of had to like yes. Oh, that's shitty. <laughs> it was trial and error. You mean the eyes? Yeah, like the eyes. <laughs> we always knew away. that. Yeah, I know, yeah. but they used to not be there. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, we noticed right away. Oh, okay. Especially also... with Ozma. <laughs> it's like that, that ugly thing didn't used to be there. Well, the fucking stacking one, I can see that's kind of dumb. Yeah. Did it just even have a marker at all? Nope, it was just like a regular AoE. You couldn't tell if you had to stack or not. <laughs> Whoop. There's a, that's what a bullet looks like. Uh, let's see. Alrighty. Oh shit, I didn't switch to- oh shit. Hey, a grinder? Hey. Fucking meat grinder. There's just a random meat grinder here for some reason. Or... Is that good? Or... I'd assume so. Cheat seems Oh, happy. it's a war machine. Fuck. <laughs> okay, Cheat doesn't seem happy anymore. Ah! Uh, get away from me! No, it loves you. It's okay, I killed it. There's another one. Fucking... Ah! Uh. Ugh. Welcome to the chat, Rave. Oh my god! Yes! Thank you, Retainer! Did he get you something good? Yes! Hold on a second. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Where is okay. it? Where is it? Yes! Littlefoot! Littlefoot? Look at him, Matt! It's Littlefoot! Like, the fucking dinosaur? Nope. It's a Yeti! Why, do you, why are you telling me to look at it? Because you need to get to the house and look at it. I'm doing things. Damn it. Huh. Oh. Of course Miguel has one too, because he probably bought it. Did you do <laughs> Yeah, Miguel has everything. He just buys shit. Yeah, because he sells his materia. Speaking of which, have you guys seen my apartment? Yes, I have. Where the f did you get all that money? I'm rich, bitch. Did you also sell materia? I bought gold off of one of those gold farmers. What the? F <laughs> yeah, right. And then, and then reported them. And then reported. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, dude. I was just helping you guys out. Can I keep the gill? Cool. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually how they find out. If that's one of the ways. No, you can just report them now. That's true. Yep. Don't know why that wasn't there before, but it's there now at least. Got plenty of ammo crates here. Yeah, and now a little foot, little yeti minion. Okay. Thud slugs could use more of those. Stack, it's stocking me up because there's gonna be a lot of fucking shit. Oh damn! That's not the last we've seen of the alien thing that we fought earlier. Trust me. Hey, it's kind. And Refrain has logged in. Hooray! Let's see, what's in the party finder? Alexander's. And bowl of ender with Really? They need to learn how to do. Why don't they just fucking use duty finder? Why do people use party finder? I feel like it's inefficient. Yeah, it's because they want to do unsync. Oh. Makes sense, because like with the extremes, you can um, you can actually accomplish quite a bit. You can either get the songs for the orchestrion, you can get the pony mount, the nightmare mount, and their um. They're like exclusive drops, like Ifrit's horn, for like crafting cool shit. Oh, and if you do them as a tank like 200 times, you get a special tank-only mount. <laughs> or 
like a tanky, like a man you can only unlock as by playing as a tank a certain amount of times on extremes. <laughs> Funny. If you're the warrior, you get a bear. I want a bear. All right, do extremes two hundred times as your warrior. Maybe I will. Okay. You know what? I'll join you. Let's unsync, and I'll well, I'll do it as my dark knight. I want that freaking black coral now. Ah, oh, shit. And then paladins get like a white lion. Piece of shit! Get away from me. I know he tank has a different mount. You wish you were watching the- well, we save all our VODs blazing, so if you want to go back and watch them, they're over there, they're archived, you just have to go to uh, highlights, and you can watch the uh, beginning. I think this is like a three-part uh, series, so I think there's just three parts. So yeah, go back and watch. It's a lot of fun. I was gonna say, you said this was a long road, it hasn't been that long. You know what, I'm just trying to be edgy with my stream channels, okay? Like, can you just- let me have it, alright? No, I can't. Fucking... <laughs> Austin's yeah, not a good is, friend. This is episode 3 we're on right now. Wait, so have you been only working on your apartment and just leaving your guild room alone? Or house room alone? Uh, yeah, I've been taking some of the stuff out of the house room. I'm gonna turn the house room into a crafting room. Not only that, but he took his chocobo out of our chocobo thing, and then he complained about how dirty ours was. <laughs> like, you, don't, you don't even use it, you piece of shit. What do you care? God damn it. I'm just saying, it's good to keep tidy. Yeah, keep, worry about yourself, alright? I will. That's why I yeah. keep the apartment one tidy. Yeah. You're the only one out of everyone living there. Oh yeah, cheat. like I said, if you want a main alchemist for a uh, crafting class, you can be in charge of building the, um, the buffs for the uh, guild. Okay. Is that the, that's what the Aether Wheel is for, mostly. Son of a bitch, I forgot to turn on that. Also, did you really buy- no, I didn't really buy Gil. I just- No, uh, you can't without getting caught. You will get caught. You will. They always get him. No, I just, uh, saved up all my money from Duty Finder and stuff. And, and if what you played, you didn't get caught, you do get caught now. Yeah, it's not worth buying Gil. Honestly, like making Gil is not really hard to do. Just no, uh, isn't. just it trade. It becomes worthless at some point. Yeah, like um, all you gotta do is just look at like what's in high demand on the market, and then just start making stuff for that. And it's not that hard, unless it's Heaven Ward shit. But Heaven Ward shit isn't in high demand for some strange reason. That's because it's not. Actually, I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you <laughs> would think. <laughs> You'd think people would want at least some of the stuff for at least turn ins, but no! Nope. We gotta make shit. We gotta make this level 52 staff cost like a million for some reason. Let's see here. Holmes is on. Did Rave just call the Yeti a mini max and then say I was the bully? <laughs> Uh, well, you know, Rave is like a person. Uh, Rave is like Swiss cheese. He just has holes. holes. <laughs> what kind of? Uh, <laughs> you never heard that expression before? Uh, no. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> That would be like a really good quote, and like not even a quote for G2B, just a quote in general. Like, <laughs> that's funny. He just has feed holes. My mouth hole. Rave, I would feed your mouth hole if, yeah, if you know, I, I wasn't allowed to have a mini fridge in my room. But I guess if you want me to walk all the way downstairs to do so, <laughs> you know, your choice. Where am I supposed to if go you again? Know if you want anything or not. I gotta go back. To, I gotta go up. That's what I'm doing. Uh, and if they did have apartments in Ishgard, I would have bought one there. Yeah, uh, me too, actually. 
Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to go up, am I? Wait, hold on, let me get my bearings here. I went across this thing. Oh, okay, I gotta see where I gotta go now. Well, maybe not down here. But it, it is down here, though. Like over here, maybe. Yeah, this is where I gotta go. Alright, got lost for a second, we're okay. Oh yeah, that's right, where Frank is a ninja now. Oh, great. Did you no. die? No, it's just another fucking alien. Aliens! Oh, right. They can do that and turn into ghosts and fly away. Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, gee, did you get any of the Street Fighter V uh, Halloween costumes? No, and they're, they're not really worth it. Okay. I. I mean, I want. Yeah, they're out. The only one that like looked appealing was like the Ryu one, and I don't play Ryu. The Jury one, and I don't play Jury enough to justify it. Like, if they had a Guile one, I probably would have bought it. Yeah, I do want the Mega one, but broke. Am I now? Yeah, the Vega one looks pretty cool. At least they didn't give him a hat this time. He, he does have a hat. Well, I mean, they gave him more than just a hat, I guess, is what I'm Does trying to say. Does the Easter egg take it off? No, uh, the Easter egg takes off his vampire cloak. Well. Does he use it like a matador? I wish. Okay, the fucking alien's back. Alrighty. Damn, we still got a lot more lore and one X to get back. Honestly, fuzzies are the best against this thing. Fuzzies and sting bees. Sting bees! Oh. By the way, there's like two dungeons we could be doing, but none of you have the requirements to unlock it. Yeah, Chief found one the other day. Acropolis? Oh, you actually went to the. I didn't go to it, but uh, Wondrous Tale says that I have to do Acropolis. Acropolis or Aquapolis? Oh, Aquapolis, whatever. Yeah. No, that's mine too. Say, Aquapolis is not that hard, it's just random. Yeah, I heard it was a treasure trail thing. Yep. We just need someone with a couple, we just need people with a couple, dra I think, dragon skin maps. Yeah. We just do the treasure hunts, and if we're lucky, the Aquapolis pops up and we're like, Hey, cool, we can get more shit. Actually, if you guys want, I could just go get a dragon skin map right now and see if we can go do one, if we're lucky. I haven't unlocked treasure hunting at all. You should really get on that. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. Of course it's a thing. I've taken you guys on a couple of them. You have? Yes. I don't remember. I, I look around for, like, a treasure chest, and it just appears, and then I tell you to kill shit. Oh, I'm that's, gonna buy that Jerry one. That's something that Rave should do. He actually liked that a lot in RuneScape, because RuneScape has a similar thing. Yeah, and the only thing is, you, you can only get maps through, uh, gathering classes. That is the stupidest hat for Vega. Shut up, I like it. Well, alright then, I'm glad you like it. Oh, Nikali's is the best. Of course Nikali's is the best! This <laughs> is, is like the only one that makes sense. That is fucking Nash. He's just in a button up, it's great. <laughs> yeah, when you take uh, juries like Easter Egg, it just, all it does is just get rid of the horns and tail, which is kind of lame. I was hoping to see her without like the hood or something. It would look really cool, but I guess yeah. that's I guess that's the theme of the costume. She's supposed to be like a hooded deviant. Hooded I want devil. her without the top. I said it. God damn what it. What is the Easter egg input? It's uh It's uh all three punches, light kick and then up. You have to hold that. Okay. Yeah, but like when after character select like, when the screen's about to turn white. Yeah. Play RuneScape. I think we all used to play RuneScape. 
treasure hunting is kind of bullshit because there's a lot of like restrictions on it, but nah, there's no restriction on this treasure hunting other than the fact that like the only thing about treasure hunting in RuneScape is that you have to take like you have to get like a sextant, you have to get like <laughs> you got to get all these tools to like look at the sun and see what the position of the sun is at this day. <laughs> like it's, it, yeah, it's... you see, she, treasure hunting in here is like you just do the quest to unlock the ability to unlock treasure hunting. You find a map, you decipher it, you look around, you find it instantly, kill the shit that's in there, bam, treasure. Well, basically what it is, is like the whole sextant and everything, and the compass, like all it is is for the coordinates. But, in the, there's there's websites dedicated is that you just... treasure hunting or archaeology? It's basically what it is, but, uh... No, um, there's just websites that, uh, let you, uh... Put in the coordinates, and then you can just uh, have the coordinates show up on the map, and you just go to where the map shows you. Like there's, <laughs> so it simplifies the process a lot, and then you just go and dig somewhere, and then a fucking enemy appears, and you gotta kill him and stuff like that. That's it. Nice. My. F <laughs> yeah, Rave said he loves that shit, and then like, I remember doing a quest with him. Like uh, it was called Ape, or no. uh... Monkey Island or something or Ape Island. Yeah. And it was like there's one of those sliding puzzles where you gotta slide and get the pieces to match the picture and stuff. And you can only slide one piece at a time. And yeah. I was and I was telling Rave, it's just like you know you can just take a shortcut for 200k. I'll front I'll front you the money. He's like no I want to solve it. I waited for fucking 30 minutes and then he's like finally he just goes, <laughs> uh gee uh how much did you say? <laughs> I, was, I was like are you kidding me? I waited 30 minutes to try and finish this quest with you, and then you give up on the fucking sliding puzzle. <laughs> I still paid him that money, too. <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. If you guys want... You know how I said there's a, a special dungeon we can unlock if we have the airship? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we could actually do that dungeon without the airship. We just gotta be somewhere in, um, in Ishgard. And together after Rave says to tell the full story. Oh god. The full story? Fucking I don't remember it fully. But I know that's one of the part like it's I gotta tell it with you, Rave, because you'll remember some details and stuff. So next time like you st we stream and stuff. Yeah, it's basically like that fucking quest stressed Rave out a lot, basically. <laughs> Which it is was very rare. <laughs> no, it was a really stressful quest. It honestly was justified. I thought it was easy, but Ray was just not having a fun time. <laughs> what server do you guys play on? We play on, uh, what was it again? Guard Center. Yeah. Okay. I gotta fucking, uh, get out of here in time, because this whole place is gonna get... Uh, fucking collapsing in on itself. Let's see. Got two minutes to get out. Honestly, I could just ignore the enemies, I think. Oh, that's the wrong way. We're not gonna play RuneScape on stream. No, we're <laughs> not. If anything, it's just gonna be Final Fantasy. Sorry, boys. Yep. Oh, this way. Whew! Ugh, I gotta regen stamina. <laughs> okay, I'm hoping that's enough to make it out of here. one of those machine things. Uh, let's use this and zap flies. Are you kidding me? Uh, get out of the way. Nope, you can park the fly, cheat. I thought you knew this already. Damn it. It's okay, I probably wasn't gonna make it. Part's a little tough. Looks like I got lost at one point. 
I think I can run past that thing and be okay. It's just kind of tough. Don't challenge it, Chief. You will die. No. What are you doing? Hey, I told you. Yeah, I did die. Thank you. Told ya. That was a scooter. There we go, got it. Oh! Got more stamina, we're good. Just gotta make it out. Out of my way! Gotta get going. Ah, uh, 15. Oh. oh, Jesus. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Four. Three. Oh, no, I'm fucking dead. Oh, we get a little cutscene if we die. Like, this whole place fucking falls off. Goddamn. I was almost at the end though. Okay, so what I gotta do is I literally just have to ignore everything. Like, there's just no avoiding it. Ignore everything! Honestly, I was. Ignore it, it can't hurt you. That's not the way it works. It clearly does. Who cheaped out the duty? What? What is Refrain trying to say? I'm not really screwed by the autosave. I can make it in this time. The thing you have to do. What thing? I don't know what thing you're talking about, Refrain. So is job quest. Oh, is job quest? Oh, um, that's uh, if you teleport to Wineport and then head south, there should be like um, some kind of shack you can go to. Yeah, he knows. Oh, okay. That's what he's saying he did the duty for the job quest. Oh, okay. Great. And he got away easy with it. Dragoon ones are very easy. Yeah. Uh, why is there another one of those things here? Fucking goddamn it! Break its legs. Okay. I'm gonna regen health all the way. Yeah. That's not all the way, but close enough. Okay, we're gonna get it. We live in, um, we live in the mist in Linsa. You can type it. I, I'm kind of in the middle of a dungeon fight. <laughs> well, goddammit. 
Sorry. Okay, I honestly have plenty of time to make it past. I just gotta get health back really quick. So how close to the end is this? This is pretty close. I would say maybe like... 40 minutes, maybe? Maybe. I'm not sure. Depends on how many times I fuck this part up. What the fuck was that? What the hell did I get hit by? Did I get hit by a meteor? God yes. damn it. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, hold on. Load. <laughs> Alright, this is back at the beginning. You know what? I'll take this. That's fine. Son of a bitch, dude. What? I've never had that happen. I just randomly got knocked down. Uh, what's the name of it, Dad? I don't. I'm not there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, RuneScape's music wasn't half bad. But, I mean, it's nothing nothing to scoff at. Or nothing, I mean, to really be proud of, I guess. It's very basic music, but it works. It's official. Now we do have to do a RuneScape stream. No, we don't. Let's <laughs> not. Come on, we'll pay for everyone's subscriptions. Uh, I'm good. That's only like five dollars. Yeah, that's like the newest thing I added to RuneScape is the voice acting. It was kind of funny, but it helps. The game's still going strong, surprisingly. But they have to switch to uh, their own engine now because fucking they've reached the limits of Flash and can't make the game in that anymore. All right, let's Java. save at this point. Java, that's what it was, yeah. Oh. Damn it. The fucking stu- I gotta turn around and kill that sniper. But it's okay. Apparently their new uh, engine is uh, pretty good. dead. Just gonna get stamina back. Oh, shit. Why the fuck? Okay, that's good enough. I should be able to make it, assuming I don't fucking get knocked off. Goddamn. Super random. Woo! Got it. We did it. Actually, you know, I said we might actually be finishing sooner. Because <laughs> now we're finally at Sector's chambers. Sector. It's got a red carpet and everything. And it's been bombarded with fucking goddamn catapults fire. <laughs> All my ammo, save. Yeah, there's a lot of snipers. I forgot that that part, you're not really supposed to fight anyone at all. You're supposed to just run through. 
those snipers aren't as strong as the snipers you meet with the uh, the outlaw snipers. They actually do less damage because there's a lot more of them. So at least they balanced it that way, so it didn't make the fucking hard mode in this end game in part impossible. Secto. He's got a nice suit. This problem, but be careful with his head. I have a special place for it. Oh yeah. If the entire thing with Robon being a blue mage is true, I'm totally switching brand companies. <laughs> God damn it, you traitor! <laughs> Sorry, I gotta stick with my blue mage brother. Fuck that. He's a loser. He's been a blue mage this entire time. Should have joined him. If I so, had known that, I would have protected his arm or some shit. So remember these alien things, guys? Great. There's fucking two of them now. Oh shit. Oh shit. No. Gotta get out. Gotta get away. Oh yeah, they use the ghost power to fucking move along and move faster. I need to kill one of them fast, because if I don't, I'm going to get screwed. Yeah, we're all on Maelstrom. Yep. A couple of us are in the other things, but whatever. Doesn't matter. They don't matter and they're inferior. That's all. <laughs> wow! This is what I need. Tons of these. <laughs> Alright, see you later, Ghost Kirby. Have a good night. Good night. Cheat, why do you have a coffin in your room? That's no longer my official room. Yeah, he moved to an apartment. So it's like symbolism for how dead the room is. Why are you guys giving me so much shit over an apartment? Shut I'm not! You did that to yourself. I'm happy for you in your new apartment. No, you're not. Tell your lying. Yeah. I'm happy for you in your half a million gill apartment. Oh, I see now. You're jealous? Yeah, I am. I mean, I could totally afford, like, five apartments and shit, but I don't want to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who wants to see you cheat and finish Recipe for Disaster on RuneScape? I've already finished it, sorry. Although that was a really awesome quest. Orlando, you would have enjoyed it. It's about cooking. Yeah, I probably would have. Recipe for Disaster is actually a really important quest, too, because it gives you uh, a lot of stuff you need to unlock. A lot of progression things. I, I One of the things I do like about RuneScape is that I think its quests are better. Because their quests writing, or their story writing for the quests are actually really, really good. <laughs> okay, I killed one of them. <laughs> there, dead. That's the hardest part of the fucking game. Honestly, is those fight that fight? Well, actually, probably not. I've struggled on some other things. Chumps it through, and you got nowhere to run. And now, for some reason, Secto has a machine.
place is falling apart. Now, like your ancestors, you will die at my hands. Final boss. Here we go. No, kind. I don't want a loan. I just said I could afford like five of those. <laughs> He's asking refrain. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. I'm running low on supplies here. I got plenty of this, though. It's a very simple fight. He just shoots things at you, and then he shoots a giant laser, and you have to get behind one of the pillars. All the rooms are the same size. Mine just looks small because of the wall. Yeah, you can add partitions to your rooms and houses and stuff. Yeah. Astrologian. Hmm, out of ammo on that. Really need ammo. I gotta get out of the way for the first. That should be enough to finish him, I think. Why is it not letting me shoot that? Uh, okay, this is weird. Oh, there it goes. It wasn't letting me shoot the thud slugs. That was weird. So you guys do... Are you dudes progression raiders or more chill free company? I would say more chill. Yeah. Got it. No, this can't be. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being a progression raid raiding group, but uh, we don't have enough people for it that are at that level. Yeah, that's like so. only three or four of us. Yeah. We did it! Scream of victory at the top of the dam. Wow, we got fucked up. <laughs> got fucked? That's what they're called. They're called grubs. Native grubs. Grub, grub, grub. I'm in a tub.
What is this text shit? Is this Final Fantasy? What the fuck? <laughs> Native grub proverb. God damn it. <laughs> they made custom proverbs. It's supposed to be um, insightful. Okay? It's supposed to be immersive. Immersive, insightful. Now that the dam's down, everything is as it should be. The river is now back to the way it is. Steve is a hero. There's another Steve. Sector was using him as a body the whole time. Is the water free? Yeah, all free. It's free. Free. You can even see the suction cup marks because technically Secto is like an octopus thing. Poor Steve. Not Steve, that Steve. It's a different one. Now Stranger, or Steve, is a true endling. Last of a species. Hello? Yes? Yo. Oh, okay, she just cut out. Sorry. Rest in Steve. <laughs> Press F for the old Steve. But yeah, that was Stranger's Wrath. That's the end of it. I don't know if there will ever be a sequel to this game, but... Uh, mm. So was that the bad ending, or what? No, that's the good ending. There's that's there's no other endings in this game. But basically, the old Aww. Steve... Yeah, the old Steve was being controlled by this octopus thing. And uh, that octopus thing was fucking fucked up because he collected heads of those things. Because, you know, he's a trophy hunter. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's dead. Stranger is the last of his species. That's the end of that. So it's kind of like a... Abe still has others. Yeah, Abe still has others. I mean, it, it kind of makes you feel bad for Steve, or Stranger. Yeah. So I mean, it's kind of like a bitter ending, but it's a good ending, because at least the water's free. Everything's back to the way it is, and you know, he saved the grubs. Basically, with the Oddworld series, like it's always like saving a species. If uh, the river wasn't brought back, the grubs would have dried out and died, because... The river was a source of a lot of their food because they fish and stuff. So, uh, yeah. I guess you could say that Secto just didn't like that he was being baited. <laughs> Literally. Because I guess yeah. I'm sure he was hunted for food because of him being an octopus thing or whatever. I don't think he's like a glutton. Because there's gluttons in Odd World, like the first and second game and the third game. I don't think gluttons are octopus things. I think Secto is something different. But yeah. So, uh, when it comes to the Oddworld series, it's usually just saving, like, a species from extinction. And, uh, Steve wasn't able to save himself, but at least, you know, he was able to save others. So, yeah, that's, uh, Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. I mean, there's really not much more to it. Well, you have, like, 20 minutes, so you want to play Get Amped? <laughs> I don't want to play Get Amped. Do you want to take over <laughs> the stream and fucking play no. Get Amped? <laughs> Alright, then. Yeah. I didn't really have anything. I mean, uh, the next game I was going to do was going to be Munch's Odyssey. So that's going to be next week on Wednesday.
because uh, Munch's Odyssey, uh, technically I'm going backwards, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I was originally going to do, like, the old, like, PC, like, Odyssey game, Odyssey games, but the thing is, is that they're really hard to configure and stuff graphically, because they're just so old, and they have compatibility issues, and it would just be a lot of setup, but luckily, uh, Oddworld's, uh, Abe's Odyssey got a remake called New and Tasty, and I was going to do New and Tasty after Munch's Odyssey, and we were going to go back to the beginning. The reason why I was going to do that is because after New and Tasty, they're working on another game that's basically another remaster of Abe's Exodus, and mm -hmm. Abe's Exodus is going to be called Soulstorm. So, that's that's what they're going to... That's what they're planning, so my plan is to do Munch's Odyssey, then New and Tasty, and then when Soulstorm comes out in the future, I would like to do that on the channel too. But, uh... Yep, that's the plan, so we're going a little bit awkward, awkwardly. And Stranger's Wrath is also the oddball out. It doesn't really have any connectivity to the other games either. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, uh, thank you guys for joining us. That was Oddball Stranger's Wrath HD. It was pretty fun. It's a really fun game. Pick it up if you want. Uh, pick up New and Tasty if you want to find out what the series was originally like, which is more like a platforming puzzle game. This is an FPS, more likely. Yeah, this yeah. is more like an FPS, so it's it's pretty different. But, you know, they branched out and they nailed it, honestly. I think it's pretty good. I would like to see a sequel to Stranger's Wrath, but it's probably not going to happen. Might be another protagonist, and it could be an FPS. But Yep, so uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, we're Community Night Stream. We stream every night at 10 p.m., 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have Max with Kingdom Hearts 2 again. <laughs> Friday's community <laughs> game night, and this Saturday is fighting game no, he night. He finished Kingdom Hearts too. Oh, he did. Yeah, he hasn't said what he's doing next. It's a oh okay. It's yeah, a well, surprise, everyone. It's a surprise. So join us tomorrow for the big surprise. Maybe it's another date night. No, just kidding. Uh, don't quote me. <laughs> but uh, okay, so tomorrow Max Holy is doing something. Quote him. Friday's community game night. Saturday is. Uh, Saturday, we didn't have a tournament last Saturday, right? Nope, because Apex entered another. Is he going to do one this Saturday, or are we just going to go to fighting game night, fight cave thing? Uh, we should have another one. Okay. Another tournament. Okay, we'll find out what's going on with Saturday. We'll keep you guys posted. Uh, Sunday, we got Popcron, Merry Man Origins. Monday, we Mass Effect 3 here with Austin. And Tuesday, Jade Empire with Ray. We're going to finish Mass Effect 3. Awesome. And then you'll find out what Austin wants to do after that on Monday. I already said we're doing Saints Row 2 with Drew. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, great. That'll be fun. That's going to be awesome. I would like to watch that. All right. I think that's it. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. We had Austin and Omnio here and myself, Cheat. Yep. Most important thing of all, go to bed. Good night. Go to bed. <laughs>